In this video, I want to discuss with you about explicit formula and recursive formula. What is explicit formula? With an explicit formula, you can do direct computation of any term for a sequence. For example, this is an explicit formula. With this formula, if I ask you to find the fifth term, you just substitute n with 5. How about recursive formula? In this formula, you need the previous term for you to do the calculation. So this is a recursive formula. As compared to the explicit formula, this formula don't have the term n. Instead, it contains the previous term u n minus 1. And also, you must specific the condition for the value of n and also the value for the first term. Let's say, if I ask you to find the third term, you cannot do direct calculation like the explicit formula. You need to find out what is the value for term 2 first. So with the previous term, then you can find out the third term. How about you ask you to find term number 10? So to find term number 10, you need term number 9. To find out the value for term number 9, you need term number 8, and so on. So this is recursive formula. You cannot do direct computation. You need the value of the previous term. The recursive formula can also uh, written in this form, relation between term n plus 1 and term n. And actually, these two formula is for th this sequence. So this sequence can, can be written with the explicit formula or the recursive formula. Now, we want to find out the explicit and recursive formula for the sequence. If you look at the sequence, it follows the arithmetic progression. With this formula, you can find out the term n for the sequence. So this is the a specific formula. How about the recursive formula? Since we know in recursive formula, you need to relate it to the previous term. If you look at the sequence here, the second term is the first term minus 2. And 48, the third term is the second term minus 2. So from here, we can write out the relation. So this is the recursive formula for the sequence. Don't forget the condition for the n and also the value for the first term. You can also write out as the format here. Now, how about if you have a sequence that follow geometry progression? Since the A is 2, R is 3, now you can write out the explicit formula for the sequence. How about the recursive formula? If you look at the sequence here, term number 2 is term number 1 times 3. Term number 4 is term number 3 times 3. So we can write out the recursive formula. And don't forget the condition for the value of n and also 
the value for the first term. You can also give your answer in this form. Relation between the term n plus 1 and term n. Question number 3. In this question, you don't have the sequence. Instead, the question gives you the explicit formula. And you want to write out the recursive formula for un. So to write out the recursive formula, you need the previous term. We use un to find out the previous term. Previous term is un minus 1. Substitute n with n minus 1. You get this relation. So from here, we can write out the term n that contain the previous term. This is the recursive formula and this is the condition for the value of n and the value for the first term. Question number four. In this question, the formula given is not for the term n the formula given is for the sum of the first n terms. To find the explicit formula, you use the formula for the sum of the first n terms. Must remember this relation to find the term n. So this is your explicit formula for that sequence. For the recursive formula, since you know you need the previous term, for recursive formula, in this case, we need the explicit formula for the sequence. From here, you can find the term n minus 1, the previous term. Now, with these two formula, we write out in term of un minus 1 and un. So we want to find out the relationship between un and the previous term, un minus 1. This is the recursive formula. Anything missing? Remember, you must have the condition and must be the integer 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Or you can try also to write out by finding the relation between u n plus 1 and un. So any one of these can use as the recursive formula for this question.